On Twitter, President Trump says, watching Hurricane closely, my team, which has done and is doing such a good job in Texas, is already in Florida. No rest for the weary. The tweet came hours before the president met with congressional leaders to discuss funding of helping victims of Hurricanes Texas and Irma. The president met with leaders from both sides of the aisle and chambers today in the Oval Office. Congressman Francis Rooney of Florida joins us now. Thank you so much for being here. Lauren, thank you for having me back on. I want you to know that our team here at EWTN has been praying for those who have been and will be impacted by Hurricane Irma. That is in your district. How are people preparing? Well, I, I hope that people are heeding some of the messages that we've been sending out about the contacts for the emergency operations people and the first responders and the police. And, and I, I just, uh, prayers are key, and we have to hope that this thing uh, uh, won't go where they say it's going to go, and that if it does go, that people will heed the, uh, the, the warnings that have been put out and get to high ground and, and be prepared to uh, uh, evacuate if possible. The business on the Hill, on Capitol Hill, continues. And as we mentioned earlier in our newscast, President Trump has cut a deal with Democrats to fund the government and raise the federal borrowing limit for three months. And that is to speed recovery for Hurricane Harvey. What is your reaction to this? Well, I think it's imperative that we fund FEMA to take care of the uh, devastation that happened in Texas. And I guess we're going to have to get ready to do it again next week. And, of course, the debt ceiling uh, is a separate issue. I, I kind of, as a business person, I'm always bemused by all this discussion of the debt ceiling. It's not about the debt ceiling. We have to pay our debts. That's what makes us the full faith and credit of the world. What we've got to do is get our spending under control. And that is going to be accomplished how? Hmm. Good question. <laughs> you know, uh, we, we have had difficulty in this Congress cutting mandatory spending. And if you look at the federal government, one-third is Social Security, one-third is all of the wealth, uh, Medicaid, welfare, Medicare, et cetera, benefits. And so that leaves one-third for everything else, and of that one-third, two-thirds defense. And it seems like this is going to be uh, something that Republicans are really pushing for. I'm wondering, what is going to be able to be accomplished by this Congress by the end of the year. There is so much that is on your plate. Well, yeah, because you know that the Senate uh, struck out on health care reform after the House did the heavy lifting, and we're still reeling from disappointment about that. And now we have the opportunity for comprehensive tax reform, which I've been pushing over here to include a requirement that able-bodied persons uh, be actively engaged seeking work or, or get work in order to have a, a claim on any benefits. And I think that will help a lot to solve our workplace problems as well as to uh, reduce the cost of the entitlements. Thank you so much for joining us, Congressman Francis Rooney of Naples, Florida area. And again, our prayers are with all of your constituents. Thanks, Lauren. Have a great day. You too.